Uh, hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, for the channel, for anybody who doesn't know me, um, my name's Ethan. I make videos as often as I can. I'm a very busy person. I work full time um, throughout the week. Um, most of the content on my channel is scooter related, um, so I make vlogs, edits, um, scooter checks, some tutorials here and there. Um, but recently I've been getting into fingerboards. Um, this is a skull fingerboard. Um, I think this is like the a white walker complete, something like that. Um, I've got quite a few of these now. Um, and also this is one of the new 97mm uh, tech decks, which I'm actually really liking at the moment. Um, it's really, really good. It's so much better than the, uh, the old tech decks that used to be out. Um, so, for anybody who knows me, um, I love making things, I love fixing things, I, love to, I, I just really, really have something for making things. And since I've been getting into fingerboards, I've always been looking at trying to find things that I can use to make ramps. Um, and anything like that. So what I've got for you today is a tutorial on something that I haven't even thought of yet. Um, I don't even know how it's going to come out. I don't, I've never, not even tried it, haven't even thought about how I'm going to do it. Um, but I'm going to show you what you need, what I've got, um, basically what you should need, not necessarily what you need. Um, but I'm going to show you what I've got. So for starters I've got just a, a crappy kitchen knife. This should work. Um, I'm not after to anything too precise. Um, a 30 centimeter rule. Um, it just needs to be a measuring thing. Um, I have a meter roll of table runner, just fake grass, and this little nifty thing that I bought from um, a place called Tiger. It, at the moment, I'm in Derby. Um, and in the big shopping centre they've got this uh, place called Tiger which sells a load of weird and wonderful stuff. Um, every time you go in there there's something different. But I managed to find this decorative tray which I just thought would make a brilliant kind of ledge, kind of planter thing for fingerboarding. Um, and it was really cheap altogether, literally all I've spent on this is £8. Like eight. Eight pounds exact. This was four pound. The grass was four pound, and I'm going to do the rest myself. It's that that simple, that cheap. Um, what I liked about this was how re real it felt because it's made out of it must be some kind of concrete, like a coloured concrete, so it, you can you know it's it's a proper material. It's got quite a bit of weight towards it. So when you when you're grinding on it, obviously you might need a bit of wax with this because it's a, you know a real material. But I like the I just like the feel of it and the sound of it and the the weight of it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up this grass, this fake grass. I basically just stick it in there and make like a little planter. It's quite self-explanatory, quite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 30 centimeter rule or 12 inch rule um, and just measure the inside of this decorative tray um, just to find out how much of this I need to cut off. Um, the dimensions that it gives you on the packaging is for the overall dimensions and obviously the only inside of it. Over 27 and a half centimeters. Um, which isn't actually a bad size, it's a pretty decent size. So, I don't have a pen or anything or a marker or anything like that to um, make a mark, so I'm just going to use my knife and this rule and literally just make a mark in there, just so I know where I'm going as a guide. And then I'm going to do the same on the depth, which is uh, 100 mil, 10 centimeters. So, from this line that I've drew here, I'm going to leave a mark at 10. I'm going to score this down. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just do another line more or less in the middle up to 10 centimeters again. 
so I can kind of guide myself across. And then right at the end, we're going to do just a line. So we'll know where I'm cutting. So I'm going to use this rule to try and keep my lines straight when I cut this. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the package in that this came in. The man at Tiger was very kind to wrap it for me. If he knew what I was using it for, he probably wouldn't have bothered. But I'm going to put this under here just so I don't scratch this table because I don't actually live here. This isn't my flat. We're in uni accommodation at the moment, so I'd rather not break anything. What I'm going to do is literally just use this rule as a guideline and just start trying to cut through this. I don't know how it's going to cut, probably not very well, but we'll see. This is a bit... Ah, oh, that's so much better. Yeah, scrap that. I'm not going to use the rule, I'm just going to kind of saw my way through it. Like I say, I'm not going for anything too uh, brilliant, too precise, as long as it fits inside the area which I want, I'm not fussed. So that's the first cut done. And I'm just gonna cut it on this line down here. All right, so I've cut out my grass patch. Um, there's a couple of frayed edges, um, so I'm just gonna rip them off. Hopefully you won't be able to see them. Um, literally, that's all I needed of that whole roll. Um, I'm probably gonna make some more of these kind of things. Um, in the future, so I might just keep that for later. Um, I'm quite glad I put this down because I've made quite a bit of a mess. So make it tidy, easier to uh, tidy up. So realistically, this should just fit straight in there. Um, what you could do if you wanted to make it a better fit or stick down a lot easier was is double-sided tape. But I'm quite actually happy with how well I've cut that up. Um, it's obviously a little bit too big, it was a little bit too tight to fit in, but it fits really well. Um, this is just really, really, really simple. Uh, honestly, this has literally taken me two minutes. Obviously, I've had to talk to the camera. And just... That was probably the easiest job I've ever, like, DIY thing I've ever done. Yeah, I can't believe how, that, how easy that was. The good thing about this tray is that it comes with rubber feet. So, because of the weight and the rubber feet on this, it shouldn't be sliding over the floor or the surface. Uh, give it a test actually. I mean it's it slides but with a with a bit of pressure. Um, I guess the only thing left to do now is try and get some clips. All right, so this actually works quite well um, as a mani pad when you turn it upside down. Yeah, this 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 whole thing was like, oh god, my wheels fell off. Which one? Well, that's not good. Put that back on. I'm really really impressed um, with how simple uh, this was and how effective it is. So yeah, I'm not very good um, with the fingerboards. Yeah, I just really enjoy doing them. Um, it's good fun. Uh, before I finish, uh, I just want to say a massive shout out um, and thank you to Unit One Parkworks. Um, recently, if you don't follow them on Facebook, um, they posted something saying that after the new ramps, they don't have much money left. And now that the weather's getting warmer and everybody's going outside, not many people are going. So they're kind of struggling a lot now um, to stay to stay uh, open. So you know, if you haven't heard of it, if you haven't been down. You know, it's, it's definitely a park that you need to go to if you if you do go there often. Just keep going because um, they need as much help as they can get. I went down on Friday, like yesterday, and bought a new skateboard deck off them. Um, 
I've never heard of the brand before, but it was cheap and I thought, you know, I just wanted to support them. Usually I get in for free because they are my sponsor, but um, I paid to get in and I also bought this new deck off them just because I want to help them out and I don't want them to go. So on this, I think it's called an Uncle Chop Chop. Yeah, I know it's a, it's a funny name. But I went to Roller Snakes today and bought myself some rip and dip rip tape with the cat on. Some of you might know that I've got the little shirt with the cat in the pocket, which is exactly the same as this. But this one isn't censored, so yeah, it's cool. I love it. And I also got some new hardware. I got Crooks uh, pink and blue hardware. There's one blue one, so I know which one's the front. And I also stuck the sticker just underneath the front trucks there. Um, I think it looks sick. So yeah, um, if there's anything that you need scooter wise, they do sell a couple of parts. Um, skateboard stuff as well. Like I say, I've got my stickers there as well if you want to help me out. I think it's 30p for one or five for a pound. So go and help yourself. I'm sure there's plenty down there. Uh, Unit One also do grip tape um, for skateboards and scooters. So if you do need some new grip tape, Definitely hit them up. I think it's about five pound for a sheet of grip tape, um, Unit One grip tape, which is what I'm riding on my scooter at the moment, and I can vouch for them and say that it is really good and it works. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching the video. If you did enjoy, please like, comment, and uh, subscribe, and I'll see you in another video. Uh, let me know if you think I should make more fingerboarding videos, especially DIY stuff, um, if you're interested. And thank you for watching.